Good morning, this is Jeannie, and this is Labor Day morning, and I was just out walking the dog this morning, and I was looking for some bark uh, on some trees that might be uh, pliable enough that you could wrap around a candle for fall, and my neighbors, the Shelton, have this tree in their front yard called River Birch, and it is just perfect. The bark peels off, and it's almost, it's almost like paper. I mean, it's soft and pliable. Uh, of course, it, you know, it'll, it'll come off in pieces and, and it'll break. But you can peel off sometimes some pretty good sized pieces. So I was going to use that to decorate some candles for fall. Um, it's a river birch tree. So if you have one like that that you have access to, I mean, look at that. That bark peeling off is just like paper. Okay. Just wanted to share. Thanks for watching. See you later. Now, if you have an aversion to insects, you might you might not want to do this project. Uh, or you probably could spray these pieces with something like hot shot, you know, uh, beforehand and let that dry. Because little ants and little critters, you know, they bed up in that bark. And I had to kill several ants while I was undoing the bark. Okay, I took just a little bit of some bittersweet and just used some scotch tape and taped it to the candle. And then I took uh, two or three pieces of the birch and just stitched it to get stitched it. Um, put some tape on it from the back side uh, to make a piece long enough to wrap around the candle. Then I just tied the piece around the candle with uh, some twine. And then I'm going to take some glue dots like these places, like right here, that that needs to lay down flat, I'm just going to use a little blue dot right there and make that stick. After I covered this first candle, I started using some hot glue instead of the glue dots and tape. I just made sure that I didn't put the hot glue on the candle. I put it like bark to bark. Um, I like the way they turned out. Mm -hmm.